Day two, we'll get underway on the Ask Hurdle. It's a two mile three fern on grade two. And at the top we've got X Adventure for Darren Thompson, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, About Me, James Shea, Eamon Fire, Daniel French, Clown, Graham Clutterbuck, El Centro, Token, Vinnie Gerard, Highland Quest, Martin Leadham, It's a Game of Inches, Joshua Sutherland, Ten Arlo, Darren Thompson, Beach Day, David Hooley, Big Penny, Greg Beckwith, City Underground, Jim Murray, Gold Coast, Leo Man Rensburg, Latest Flame, David Robertson, On the Dark Side, Craig Beckwith, Shambolic, Paul Parsons, Sierra Vista, Sooty, Vinnie Gerard, and Smokescreen for David Robertson, a field of 18 to face the start of this time, opening race on day two, away and racing. And heading towards the first flight with It's a Game of Inches just about the leader. Island Quest pulling for its head, they get to the first of the ten, and they're all successfully to the other side with It's a Game of Inches the leader. Island Quest just second, then Aim and Fire and Judge Anderson. Latest Flame is close up as well. Two is on the dark side, the grey. It's ten Arlo. Darren Thompson's other horse is very wide on a track. X Adventure losing quite a bit of ground. Shambol at the early back marker, but now it's a and Vinci has been joined by Highland Quest. Those two disputing the lead with Aim and Fire. Just a couple of minutes back in third. Then on the inside rail, latest flame rider on the far side, the grey ten Arlo and Judge Anderson as they get over the second with the City Underground now relegated to the back with about me. And they're coming up the straight then. Past the stand. Ask it for the Ascot Hurdle. We'll be back here next week for the big flat meeting. And over a third they all go. And it's a game of inches is in the lead. Stable companion Judge Anderson has now moved into second. Right over on the far side, being trapped by Gold Coast. Oh, Leon Van Rensburg down on this near side, Highland Quest. Then on the dark side, name and fire. Ten Arlo is after that one. Big Penny's also quite close up as they pass the winning post to the complete circuit ahead of them. Beach Day has now dropped to the back. But there's still 13 furlongs to go. And it's a game of inches, leads by about five lengths to Gold Coast, aim and fire, and on the dark side, virtually in a line. Then Judge Anderson and Highland Quest, with in between them, El Centro token in the two shades of green. And the grey Ten Arlo is behind them, with on that one's outside Shambolic, getting a little bit closer. Vinny Gerard, second runner, Sierra Vista Sooty, also creeping closer on the outside with X Adventure, looking towards the back. Beach Day is still the back marker as they get over the fourth. And they're all safely over the fourth, with It's a Game of Inches continuing to show the way by four. To on the dark side is now moved through into second. And Gold Coast closest to us is third. Little Centro token in the green is getting closer as well as they get over the fifth flight. And they're all safely over that one. Clown has just dropped on a little bit slow and is now dropped towards the rear. And they're heading towards the next, and It's a Game of Inches is in the lead from Gold Coast and Judge Anderson. And then on the dark side, Aim and Far and El Centro token together as they get over number six. On and Quest just lost its place a little bit. Alongside about me, who's made some good ground from the back. Ten Arlo is still there. Shambolic trying to creep a bit closer. So to see the underground. Big Penny has dropped towards the back. But it's still it's a game of inches with seven furlongs to go. Who's in the lead by about three lengths to Gold Coast in second. Aim and fire on the inside is third. On the dark side on the outside is fourth. Then comes Highland Quest and Judge Anderson, El Centro Token, also trying to get into it as they get over the fourth from home. Ten Arlo is next, and then Shambolic and About Me, City Underground is still there as well. Smokescreen is trying to get closer, so too Beach Day. Latest Flame is the one who's dropped right out of it and looks like being pulled up, but it's it's a game of inches who continues to lead by two lengths. Over this third last flight they go. Good jump in second by Judge Anderson. Gold Coast is still there in third. Highland Quest creeping closer on the rail. Aim and Fire still there as well. Smokescreen. Oak screens looking for racing room, so too is El Centro Token. Ten Arlo and Beach Day tucked in behind. There's plenty of chances if they can get to the leader. There's just two more flights to take in the straight and a little over three furlongs to race. And It's a Game of Inches continues to lead. It's four or five clear from Aim and Fire, El Centro Token, Gold Coast. Then Highland Quest now being switched to the outside. This is the second last. The leader jumped in a little bit slowly. The pack are closing. It's still in the lead, though. It's a Game of Inches from Aim and Fire in second. Gold Coast, Highland Quest, Beach Day now 
now looks a big danger on the outside as they race towards the final flight it hits a game of inches takes in the lead and jumps it really well gets away from it well as well and he's now racing up the hill and looks trying again beach day he's running on the outside but i think has got too much to do there's just over half a furlong still to go and it looks like the leader is going to hang on it's a game of inches he's still two to three lengths clear racing in the final quarter furlong and it's a game of inches takes it from beach day in second hole and quest was third on the dark side four then judge anderson hill centro token city underground closest at the finish and all the way back to clown with latest flame the one that pulled up but it's a game of inches holds on with a pillar to post win not that we're going to catch him coming into the last but he just kicked on again and it's a game of inches for joshua sutherland the winner beach day for david hooley second holland quest for martin Lydon was third on the dark side craig beckwith was fourth and aaron fire for daniel french was fifth <laughs>